So we're going to do central tendency stats on both an Excel spreadsheet and a Google Doc. Now yours may look a little differently and there's a thousand different ways to do this, but in general, once you get a sense of how to work with the formula bar, it all starts to make sense. Mean is the easiest, it's the average. So I simply have to select all of the cells that I want included in my calculation and scroll one more to the box where I want the answer to be. Then I go up to my sigma and average usually pops right up. There we go. My average of all of these numbers is 26.4. But what about the median? Well, wait a minute. One thing about the mode. Oh, there's the formula bar. Equals average and then what it's averaging out all of the numbers that are inside these cells from B2 to B12. All right, once you start getting the hang of that, the rest of this comes pretty easily. So median, all right, that's where I want the answer to be in that cell. Go to my sigma, nope, median doesn't show up. Don't look down there, I've been using it a lot. Type slowly, M, E, D, there she blows. All right, so pay attention to your formula bar. The answer will go there, but what cells do I want it to figure out what the median is? starting in B2 all the way down to B11. Yep, B2 to B11. What's the median? Ah, the median is 24.5. But what's the mode? Let's do the same thing. I put my mouse, I click into the cell where I want the answer to be. If this wasn't here, I'd click on the arrow to more functions. Right now I'm looking for the mode. And there it is. All right, so formula is ready to go, but what cells do I want included? I want B2 to B11 equals mode B2 to B11, hit return. There we go, there's my mode. And last but not least, now standard deviation, that's an awful long word. Chances are it's going to be abbreviated. So S T, uh, standard deviation. There we go. So that's why I like to go slowly and do the same thing. Equals standard deviation B2 colon B11. B2 to B11. Click in here, hit return. Boom. There's my standard deviation. All right. So let's do this on the Google Sheet. It's going to be a little different because the Google Sheet doesn't have the formulas all completely built in. It wants you to go out and get them, <laughs> but it's the same concept. So mean, I'm going to select all the numbers I want. And I've noticed with Google, uh, when I do this, I don't go down to the cell where I want it. I go to the cell above and it's gonna put it in the cell below. It's a little backwards, but you do it once, you figure it out. Go up to my sigma, and again, average is pretty common. No pun intended. There's my formula, it's averaging B2 to B12. Yep, Hit. put my mouse here, hit return. Boom, my mean is 26.4. I think I have the same numbers. Booyah. All right, so median, I go here. Oh, not here, I need more functions. Yeah, that's what I thought. It wants me to put in the formula. All right, so what are we doing? Median, oh, there it is. So it will be equals median, and then I'll put my cells in myself. All right, click in, go up to my formula bar, equals, paste in. And then what are my two values? B2, B2, 
Now I could do every number, every number, every number, but instead of a col instead of a comma, if I put in a colon and then put in B12 here or B11, yeah, my number ends at B11. There we go. 24.5 24.5. What about mode? Well, I bet you it's going to do the same thing. Click where I want it to go. Now I'm looking for my mode. And it's going to give me a code. All right, no big deal. Let's make sure we got this right. M-O-D-E. Oh, could be several of them. There she blows. All right. Alright, so let's go back to our spreadsheet. Basically, I know what to do. I type in equal mode parentheses and then again it was B2 colon down to B11, B11 parentheses, hit return. 22 how we doing? Booyah! Now comes standard deviation. You know, I think I remember what that code was. Do you remember what it was? Equals STDEV. All right, let's do it. Equals STDEV parentheses. Here we go again. B. To colon to B eleven parentheses and let's hit enter nine point zero eight nine point zero eight there we go oh that's funny Google went further than Excel did so that's central tendency and again when you're working with a spreadsheet. Once you get the hang of the codes, equal, average, and then parentheses, I could, instead of using the colon here, I could do a comma and then put in every one by myself. B2, comma, B3, comma, B4. And we'd be here for a year. Instead, you've got the colon, which tells it everything in between. All right? So that is central tendency.